Did you know one third of the world's soil is already contaminated? Every year, agricultural generates 1.3 billion tons of organic waste, and most of the waste is either dumped in landfills or openly burned, releasing and methane, a greenhouse gases which is 25 times more harmful than carbon dioxide. At the same time, mismanaged soil have already lost much of their fertility. In some regions, crop productivity has fallen up to 30% due to soil degradation. And looking ahead, with climate change driving more drought and erratic rainfall, yields in water-scarce area could fall by another 30% by 2050. To make matter worse, many of the soils that remain productive are contaminated with synthetic fertilizer, pesticide, and heavy metal, threatening food safety and also human health. Together, these problems form a dangerous cycle. Waste is piling up, soils are breaking down, food is harder to grow, and the environment is becoming more toxic. To address these challenges, we develop a solution, biochar hydrogel composite from agricultural and marine biomass waste. With beneficial microbial inoculation for soil health enhancement, climate resilient water management, and sustainable rain land remediation. This research was conducted by our team from Chitahati Christian School under the supervision of Ms. Nadine Parengkowan. Our group consists of me, Jonathan Jaden Sudeno, and Kenzi Alexander Ruang, my partner. Together, we represent a collaborative effort to transform waste into sustainable solutions for soil health and food security. The objective of our research was to develop a composite made from agricultural and marine biomass waste, enhanced with beneficial microbes and to identify the best formulation for a soil improvement. Specifically, we wanted to determine the ratio of hydrogel and biochar that could first improve water retention, two, balance soil pH, three, optimize book density, and fourth, absorb heavy metals effectively. Our research question was which hydrogel to biochar ratio provides the optimal combination of these properties for agricultural soil improvement? We first reviewed the existing theory that based our research on three key components. First, hydrogel. Hydrogels are three-dimensional polymer networks that can absorb many times their weight in water. In our case, we use natural resources. Chitasan from shrimp cells, cellulose from sugarcane, Veggies, starch from banana peels, and pectin from orange peels. Hydrogels improve soil water retention and nutrient holding capacity, but on their own, they can be very fragile. Second, biochar. Biochar is a porous, carbon rich material produced by heating biomass in low oxygen. It increases nutrient retention, provides microhabitats for beneficial microbes, and reduces soil acidity. Finally, beneficial microbes. We introduced two strains, Pseudomonas fluorescens, which enhance nutrient uptake and breaks down harmful compounds, and Bacillus subtilis, which binds toxic heavy metals and produces compounds that protect plant roots. When these three components are combined, the composite becomes not only a physical and chemical soil amendment, but also a biological system for restoring soil health. Our methodology consists of five main stages. First is the extraction of natural polymers. First, we extracted chitosan, cellulose, starch, and pectin from agro-industrial waste. Each polymer serves a function. Chitosan is used for antimicrobial activity. Cellulose is, your is used for its strength. Starch is used for swelling and water absorption capacity. And pectin is used for its gelling formation. And second, we conducted the hydrogel synthesis. This polymer were blended and crosslink using citric acid. So this crosslinking create bonds between the polymer chains and forming a stable hydrogel that does not dissolve in water but retains high absorption capacity. And the third one is biochar production. So coconut shell were pyrolyzed to produce biochar, then chemically activated with potassium hydroxide to increase the surface area and also the porosity of the material. Then, we inoculate bacteria, which is Pseudomonas florens and also Bacillus subtilis, incubating them at 30 degrees Celsius for 2 hours. And then, the hydrogel maintain hydration while the biochar provide a porous habitat. So, the composite were then tested for 
four different parameters, which are pH, bulk density, soil absorption, speed, and also heavy metal absorption. The pH results showed a clear trend. 25 biochar to 75 hydrogel was near neutral at 7.03 while 50 biochar to 50 hydrogel and 75 biochar to 25 hydrogel were more alkaline at 8.0 and 8.67. This indicates that hydrogel balances biochar's alkalinity, making 25 biochar to 75 hydrogel the most versatile for soil application. For bulk density, values were 1.29 gram per milliliter, 1.13 and 1.07 respectively. The higher density of hydrogel ensured petal soil integration with 25 biochar to 75 hydrogel again performing the best. In absorption speed, 25 biochar to 75 hydrogel was fastest at 4 minutes and 2 seconds, followed by 50 biochar to 50 hydrogel at 4 minutes and 54 seconds, and 75 biochar to 25 hydrogel at 5 minutes and 21 seconds. This confirms that hydrogel-rich composites capture more water rapidly, reducing runoff. Finally, in heavy metal removal, all composites were effective, but 25 biochar to 75 hydrogel showed the highest capacity, binding lead, copper, iron, and mercury through functional groups such as hydroxyl group, carboxyl groups, and amino groups. From our results, the 25 to 75 ratio formulation, which is 25% biochar and 75% hydrogel, provided the best performance. It achieved first near neural pH, second highest bulk density, third, fastest absorption speed, and lastly, strongest heavy metal removal. This shows that biomass waste can be transformed into a sustainable soil amendment that improves soil health, supports water management, and also mitigates pollution. In summary, our research demonstrates how agricultural and marine waste, once considered a problem, can be turned into solution for food security and also climate resilience. Lastly, to save the earth, we cannot only conserve, we must also innovate and serve. For in every new idea lies a chance to heal, and in every bold invention lies the power to make the future real. So thank you for your attention. We are now ready to take your questions.